हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कंटिन्यूस मेमोरी एलोकेशन वेलकम यूर एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कंटिन्यूस कंटिन्यूस मेमोरी एलोकेशन एंड ओके okay now the the entire idea of the contiguous memory allocation is the memory the main memory is divided into two different partitions okay and uh, the two different partitions are one partition is from for the operating system okay now this there is an operating system which is resident uh, in resident operating system and another is for the user process let's say this is p1 P two, okay, something like this. Okay, now here uh, in contiguous, so we have two different partition. Uh, one is your operating system, other is user program. In contiguous memory allocation, each processor is contained in a single contiguous section of memory. Okay, each process is contained, whatever the size. Uh, each process, the key point, each process is contained. in a single contiguous section of memory. right so each process is contained in a single single contiguous section of memory let me just complete this redundant line okay so that is a contiguous memory location whatever the requirements it's stack and data section and static data section okay the the code section code stack static data okay and heap all are in a single contiguous memory allocation now if there are many processes are running okay now like, suppose this is the if there are many different processes are running then here uh, suppose uh, there is an operating system and then there is a process p1 then there is a process p2 and then there is a process p3 suppose this is 1000 okay for example then we required to uh, protect one process from another okay we required the protection we required the protection from one process to another and that is really really required in this case one process to another we need to protect it even we need to protect we need to protect operating system routines also operating system routines that also needed to be protected okay and that protection is uh, is achieved by using limit uh, limit and the relocation register okay so so uh, that is the idea here in this case is that uh, if if you are register is having limits in this case okay and relocation register is there and limit is this suppose limit is here in this case is 50 and relocation register is 1000 okay then it will just check that whether it, it belongs to for it is it is within the limit or not okay if it is less than the limit suppose logical address 44 is being generated and it is less than the limit yes then it will be relocated to 1044 and finally you can go and access the memory so now if in another case was otherwise what will happen it will generate the trap so there is a base register and relocation register that we call it this is a base register and there is a limit register that will check whether the the number is a, whatever the logical address is less than the limit register or not hardware support for relocation limit register before discussing the memory location we must discuss the issue of the memory protection protection of the operating system from uh, from user process and protection from user process from another user process both the category i told you okay we can provide this protection by a relocation register and the relocation register uh, the smallest possible physical address and the limit register contain the range of the uh, range of the logical address and so there are two terms are there a smallest possible physical address and uh, the range of the logical address For example, relocation register may contain this uh, uh, this uh, one lakh uh, this this value one lakh forty and this can contain six seventy four thousand six hundred. Okay, with this relocation relocation and the limit register, 
each address should be less than the limit register each which address each logical address okay each logical address should be less than the limit register so uh, this is very uh, like here uh, why, why it is so suppose the 1050 okay now this look at this situation so now suppose your p1 is your uh, up to 1000 2050 and i want uh, 144 address has been generated we have seen that it is less than the limit it will go forward and it will allow you to access suppose 99 is generated then it will find that 99 is less than equal to 50 and that is false if it is no then we will directly generate the trap will never go and for the relocation register so there is a base register and there is a limit register for each process and the moment it the it is violating that particular uh, limit then a trap will be generated so contiguous memory allocation and in contiguous uh, memory allocation for the user process uh, the first part here in this case a fixed size fixed size partition and uh, the idea of the fixed size partition is that divide the entire memory into some fixed size okay divide into a fixed size So now uh, here in this case uh, uh, the degree of multiprogramming uh, that the number of processes number of processes will be limit or bounded by the bounded by the partition okay bounded by the uh, bounded by the partition means number of processes and a size of process both the entity will be bounded by the partition okay when the partition is free the process is selected from the input queue and loaded into the free partition upon termination it is available again okay. so but now the partition is what partition here in this case is fixed okay now there is some consequence of fixed size partition that is the process has to be fit into this uh, each process has to fit in the partition right okay another another one is the variable size part of variable size length partition okay where each uh, like here uh, suppose the space is there uh, suppose 1000 space is there and here i divided into let's say four different parts and in fixed thousand zero to 999 space each is divided into what uh, 250 huh? so zero to 259 and 249 to 444 in that way so that uh, four different partitions are there now uh, here, this is saying that uh, the each partition can be of different length okay and uh, so now here uh, we have uh, uh, in case of variable length partition this memory blocks a new term is there okay for variable length partition variable length partition each memory block okay is referred as whole okay so this is the new term whole in this case operating system keep keep a table which part of the memory is available is considered uh, and consider one large block of memory as whole one large block of memory as whole so one large block of memory as whole right and uh, memory allocation uh, memory allocated to the process until the memory requirement is met uh, that process cannot be okay memory allocated to the pro uh, allocated to the process uh, until the memory requirement of the of the process cannot be satisfied uh, satisfied that is no available block in the process is large enough to hold the process okay okay so memory allocation to the process until the memory requirement of the okay 
may maybe in this point i'm not able to explain you properly uh anyway so maybe it is trying to say here in this case is that uh, if the there must be a memory allocation uh, allocated to the process here in this case memory uh, is not allocated uh, suppose uh, we have a larger or different size of holes in this case okay and suppose this is 200k and this is suppose 300k and my process size is 500k okay now this 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 requirement is right now cannot be satisfied so memory is not allocated to process process uh, okay a memory is memory not allocated to the process until memory requirement of the process is met uh, if process cannot be satisfied uh, by the available block then the larger one can hold the process okay so we have to look for the larger hole in this particular case okay so in general we are talking about this hole and in general a set of holes of various sizes and scattered throughout the memory at any given time so now uh, because of this variable length partition now we have some issues with the variable length partition that here it is maybe free 100k here it is occupied by let's say process p1 and this is process p2 and then again free of size let's say 200k okay so it may be scattered what can be the idea when a process arrives here okay it, when a process arrives here and needs the memory then it searches for the then what it will do that we have to search the we have to maintain something like a table okay and the table will be there and when a process will arrive will it will look at the, the table and find the the hole that is large enough okay that will be large enough to uh, to put the process in the memory okay so when the process arrives and needs memory the system searches searches for the set for a hole that is large enough for the process if the hole is too large it is split into two one part is allocated to the arriving process another is returned to the set of holes so there can be some criteria of uh, of uh, how large the hole should be when a process terminate it releases the block of memory and uh, place back into set of holes and if the new hole is uh, is adjacent to the other holes this ad adjacent hole can be merged to form a larger hole okay so uh, it's fine that is also okay because upon termination of a process uh, we are going to give back the uh, the allocated memory and if it is adjacent memory suppose p1 is getting free okay and we we have seen that already there is a 100k and p1 has been allocated to 300k so what it can be do is can, can be 100k and this can be 300k and we can merge this and create a new hole of size 400k uh, last point is at this point this uh, system may need to check whether the, the there is a process waiting for the memory and other newly freed uh, and combined memory can satisfy the demand at any waiting process so we can see there is any demand that is needed to be made okay so this point is very trivial now we come to this uh, the next problem here in this case is a dynamic allocation uh, dynamic storage allocation problem okay so this will do in the next session uh, for this one this is uh, something about uh, contiguous uh, memory allocation and within that we have seen uh, two parts so one is your uh, uh, in this we have a base and limit register required for the protection purpose we have fixed size partition and variable size partition Okay, so that's all for this discussion. Thank you.